I'm going to introduce you to the tools of stereographic projection and the first thing you need to work your way around is this graph which is called a lower hemisphere equal area stereo net and it's a map of planes in space and I'll show you how that works using this bowl and this protractor. So a protractor just has a degrees going around the edge of it to 180 for a half circle and you can imagine it continuing around the rest of the compass dial through to 360. And if that protractor is horizontal, where it intersects a bowl or a, a hemisphere like this, it makes the shape of a circle. And if it's horizontal, it makes the big outside or great circle and we can see that on this graph. So that outside circle represents a horizontal plane. But if I start to tilt or dip that plane into the bowl, you can imagine where the protractor intersects the bowl, I would create these, uh, we call them great circles, that are intersecting the bowl. And on the stereo net, you can see them in the dark lines running around that graph. And there's a whole lot of them that are shown that represent 10 degree increments of dip, 10, 20, 30, 40, and so on, until you get vertical for a, a plane that is dipping vertically. And that's represented by the line that runs straight along the stereo net. So if you're happy to accept that in principle, and you look at the net, what you have are a whole sequence of planes dipping in this direction, and a whole sequence of planes dipping in the other direction. And so this net allows you to visualize a plane in space that is dipping a certain amount. And the strike of the plane is running up and down the stereo net like this. So these are all great circles representing a plane dipping in space the outside circle of the stereo net represents a horizontal plane, we call it the primitive, and you can measure in degrees along each of these great circles just like you would measure along a protractor.